Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a latest version of CakePHP on your server. I'm using Zam server, but you can use any server you like and on uh, any operating system you like. So first, you install CakePHP you have to install a software called Composer. To install the Composer, you have to uh, Google search Composer and then go to the Composer website. Click on the download button there. And since I'm on Windows, I'm, uh, I have to click on this link, which is say Composer setup.exe and then it will download um, let's see it will ask me to download this setup file I have to click save file and it will download um, this thing on my computer I've already uh, did that step you have to just install the software it's just like regular software and once you have installed the software you have to open your command prompt and type in composer if you get something like this that means uh, you ha your installation is correct and if you do not get um, uh, something uh, of this sort then uh, you have to install this properly it's not very difficult it's just like a regular software okay um. So once you have your Composer installed on your computer, you have to search for Kate PHP. Sorry. You have to search for Kate PHP and, and go to this website kphp.org. You have to scroll down and then you will see this uh, link to download CakePHP 3.2. 3.2 is the latest version at the time of recording this video. So I click on this uh, link and then it will show me the requirements for installing CakePHP. The first requirement is HTTP server um, Apache with mod rewrite. Okay, so we have that on our SAMP and also the PHP 5.5.9 are greater now you have to check this to check this uh, you can do two things the simple thing is install uh, start your go to your uh, uh, exam control panel and start Apache from there and then go to localhost and uh, then go to PHP info here it will show you the version of PHP installed in my case it's 7.0.6 however if you have deleted this file from your XAMPP then you can just open your PowerShell and then you have to go to the directory where you have installed your XAMPP in my case it's uh, it's C and uh, XAMPP and then you have to go to the PHP directory PHP once you go there you have to type this command php.exe exe and dash v and here it will show you the uh, it will show you the uh, version of your php in my case it is 0.7.6 okay so since uh, the requirement was any php version greater than 5.5.9 and i have 7.0.6 so i can install and cake php also we have to have these two ex php extension one is mb string and the other is int l 
there's a note on XAMPP this uh, extension which is MB string is already there it's also there on WAMP but uh, this extension INTL though it's present it's not enabled to enable it we have to uncomment this line on our php.ini file to 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 open this php.ini file we have to open XAMPP control panel and beside Apache we'll see a button called config click on that go to the php.ini file click on there and then it will open up this uh, this file php ini file uh, in a notepad editor click on F copy this thing from the website and paste it in the search box and click enter you will get this line see in my case I've already removed the semicolon which was uh, here you have to remove the semicolon and click on and click control uh, yes to save this file and then close this file also if you have um, if your Apache is running then you have to stop the Apache and then restart it and you also need a database server MySQL or anything with our XAMPP we have uh, we got MySQL so we will use that uh, database server okay we got so I will also start this uh, MySQL server um, now you have to use this um, you, you have to op you have to open your command prompt and go to your uh, XAMPP installation file uh, installation folder in my case it's uh, C XAMPP and, and then go to your stdocs folder here you have to copy paste this part leave this my app my underscore app my underscore name leave this part and copy the rest of the part from their website and uh, paste it here and now give a space and type the name of your application I will give my application um, test the name at a name called test and then click enter It will take a little time to install, to download and install on um, Cake PHP on your computer. You can see it's downloading and installing um, the required files from uh, internet. The process is a little slow, so we have to be patient. It will ask that whether we want to set folder permission. The default is yes, so I just click enter to set the permission, and that's done. Now, to open up my new installation, of cake php all we do is localhost and then type the name of my application the name that i gave during installation was test so i say localhost less test and if we open up uh, the cake php installation 
and you can see that well, you can it will tell you what's there and what's not there the PHP is 5.5.9 and greater than 5.5.9 so it's a tick and I have MB string extension loaded so it will say tick okay it will uh, tell you what's wrong here the wrong thing is that I do in the cake PHP is not able to connect to the database to the connect to the database I will say localhost I will open my PHP my admin and create a database here. I will name my database as cake PHP and then I go to the place where I have installed my cake PHP. It's a C Zamp S A Docs and then test inside the test I have to go to the config folder and open this app.php in the text editor and all the configuration for my application is there in this file I have to scroll down If we carefully look for uh, for the the settings, the database settings, so uh, here it is in the data source and um, in the username. I update my u the database username and password here. My database username is root. My database password is uh, an empty string. The database name is cake PHP. That's it. I save the file, uh, close this editor, and now I'm going to refresh my page. And now it shows that I also have uh, a database connection. Now, in case if you do not like this underscore test or the application name and you want this to open uh, just by typing localhost, then you have to open your uh, same control panel and go to the config and httpdconf.conf from there you have to search directory here it is so you have to add slash test that is the name of your application Let's test here and then save this file, close it, stop your Apache, and then start it again. And now you can just type localhost and it will load your newly installed Cake PHP application. So that's all for this tutorial and we will see um, how we can develop an application using CakePHP in the next tutorial. Thank you.